Hello, bold, beautiful and wonderful ladies of Mission Shakti. It's my absolute delight to welcome you all on this amazing session on oral health and hygiene. So today we have Dr. Shrutika Jaiswal with us and Dr. Shrutika is a dentist by profession and she has an experience of over nine years now and she has helped thousands of pa patients get wonderful smile and good oral hygiene and we are uh, really excited and looking forward for this session Shrutika. So as a practicing dentist first of all I would like to have some of your recommendations and observations on general concerns that we have related to women oral hygiene for adult oral hygiene and also for the kids oral hygiene so first of all and you know like uh, the very basic question I'm going to ask you which is of the utmost importance when it comes to oral health so what kind of toothpaste and a toothbrush should we be using in our daily lives so first thing thank you so much for having me here uh, what I recommend is First thing is soft bristles toothbrush because uh, in the market you might see hard bristles, you might see medium bristles but soft bristles helps a lot. It will not damage the enamel that's, that is the outer covering of your teeth as well as it will not be harmful for your gums while you are brushing. Okay. So many of them have a problem of bleeding gums while they are brushing, they complain about that but if you are using soft bristles toothbrush that will definitely help you to clean better okay as well as it will not harm your gum lining okay second thing which is very technique sensitive that is the bristles of the toothbrush the edges are always rounded yeah you should search for it which has rounded edges that will help to clean the gum lining better and it will not even harm the gum lining so these are the two things which you should always keep in mind while you're choosing a toothbrush because you are going to use it twice a day so you should use it wisely. Proper one, yeah, yeah exactly. So two pointers to keep in mind. First of all, the bristles of the toothbrush should be soft. The second is that the bristles should be rounded. And what do you want to say about toothpaste? Ke mein kya kehna hai? Which kind of toothpaste we should so be for using? For kids especially, it should be fluoride free. Okay. At the age uh, till of five years maybe, we should avoid fluoridated toothpaste. Second thing, uh, if it is less abrasive, that is very important because more abrasive toothpaste which gives fake promises of whitening hmm. you know? so they are not good for your teeth for long run they might help you with whitened tooth for a day or two but if you see for a long run they are going to damage the enamel of your teeth and your teeth will slowly gradually change the color to yellow okay so eventually you should see for less abrasive one as well as if it is sugar free Nothing, like, Nothing that. That. like that, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So when you are using, when you are choosing a toothpaste, three points to remember, it should be fluoride free, it should be sugar free, less of abrasives in the toothpaste and also Sugar-free. Sugar -free. Perfect. So that's all about toothpaste uh, that we have. So the next question is, how is oral hygiene different from when we were kids and in the new age era like, like now? What is the difference between that? So the eating habits have changed completely. Drastically, definitely. Yes. Earlier we used to eat a lot of vegetables and fruits. Hmm. And nowadays if you see, they are snacking a lot. Yeah. They are eating the packed food a lot. Hmm. So it is uh, completely different. Earlier we used to brush, you know, uh, once a day. Hmm. And it was still fine. Fine, yeah, yeah, absolutely. But now the eating habits have changed a lot because of the packed food, because of, because of the sweet food and uh, sticky food mm -hmm. so you have to look more deeply and more carefully while you're brushing and you have to give a lot of time to your kids especially mm -hmm. when they're brushing Okay. So it has changed completely and it is difficult now yeah. to maintain. So as we are, your lifestyle has changed, yes. people are eating a lot of packaged, processed junk food and it is very much important to take care very closely to your oral hygiene for the kids as well as for the adults, right? Yes, of course. Superb. Okay, so what are the typical cases you get for kids oral hygiene? Broken teeth, bad breath and lot of cavities. Okay, so these are the common things, common things that, that we see. see in kids, yeah. Okay. Because cavities are very prone because as I, as we mentioned earlier, the eating habits have changed a lot. Mm -hmm. Like they eat a lot of junk and packed food mm -hmm. and they don't clean it right. Mm -hmm. So they are tend to form cavities. Mm -hmm. So I see a lot of cavities and broken teeth. If you don't treat the cavity, of course, 
now or later on your teeth is going to break into two pieces okay yes so that's the reason we get uh, more of broken teeth cavity is bad breath because of food lodgement not mm-hmm. proper cleaning not maintaining the hygiene well kids are not uh, made to clean their tongue so hmm. that causes bad breath a lot bad breath a lot okay yes. so these are the major things which i see nowadays in kids okay so uh, you know like as we have a lot of mothers in the group so what do you think are some of the tips that we should be you know like uh, incorporating for the kids and for the adults to maintain good oral hygiene brushing twice a day is okay. for both of them mm-hmm. you have to make sure that you brush in the morning as well as before going to bed similarly you have to give equal importance to tongue cleaning okay yes so tongue cleaning is also important for adults as well as for children hmm flossing again for adults as well as for children so these three things are the basic thing that everyone should maintain in their day to day life to maintain the oral hygiene well hmm. uh second thing uh, is rinsing well hmm. see i never say no to food right you're not supposed to eat this or that you should hmm. eat definitely you should eat everything and you should make your kids also eat everything okay. but if you inculcate this habit of rinsing the mouth after hmm. eating anything sweet or sticky as such this will help you to maintain it well. okay 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 so these are the things that basic i recommend everyone should follow whether they are kids whether they are adults if you follow all these steps you can maintain it well okay you should visit your dentist too Mm-hmm. Six monthly visit is very important with your dentist. So if you have minor problem also, that will be detected and it will be resolved in time. Hmm. Exactly. Cleaning. So even children should get their teeth cleaning done. Hmm. Okay. Even adults should get their teeth cleaning done hmm. at least once in six months is what is recommended. Okay. So this is how you can maintain your oral hygiene well. Hmm. Hmm. And you know you can uh, build up your better immunity with that. Okay. So you know like uh, जो steps हमें follow करने चाहिए proper oral hygiene के लिए उसमें number वन है brushing two times a day. Yes. Second thing is flossing. Third thing is cleaning your tongue. And uh, what else was there? See another thing I would like to add is hmm. like for children specially hmm. you can uh, visit your dentist okay. and ask them. to apply sealant as and when is required okay and yes. what's that so sealant is something that you apply on the teeth it is like a coating okay okay normally okay. i would if i try to explain it it mm. is like a coating on your teeth so whatever you are eating it will not get deposited so it fills the uh, the deep edges of your teeth mm-hmm. the deep uh, pits of your teeth okay so what will happen whenever you are eating anything it will not stick mm-hmm, it mm-hmm. will not stay there it will flow with the water or with your brushing it will not stick for a longer period of time so that is how you prevent cavities in children okay because okay. you can't stop children from eating eating yeah right? exactly and if they are like really young like <coughs> over 3 years it is really difficult to make them brush also mm-hmm. i think all the moms can relate that Mm-hmm. So applying sealant will definitely help. You can mm-hmm. definitely visit your dentist, and they will give you a better guidance about it. Okay, so it's very important to brush your teeth, to floss it, yes. to clean your tongue, and also visiting dentist on yes. time is very very important for adults as well as for kids. Yes. So at what age kids should start brushing on their own? So uh, till the age of seven, hmm. it is recommended that parents should. do it for their kids okay and post 7 years of age they should definitely keep a watch if okay. they are not skilled enough to do it properly mm-hmm. so post 7 years also you should keep a close watch to them while they are brushing their teeth तो मतलब पेरेंट्स का सुपरविजन होना चाहिए व्हेन दे आर ब्रशिंग द किड्स जब तक आप कॉन्फिडेंस नहीं हो कि हां बराबर हो रहा है तब तक आपको कौन पेरेंट्स में आने के लिए पहले आपको देखना जरूरी है ओके सो टिल 7 स्ट्रिक्टली पेरेंट्स शुड डू एंड 7 इयर्स के बाद यू शुड कीप अ क्लोज वॉच ओके और कितने टाइम तक करना चाहिए क्लीनिंग लाइक हाउ मेनी मिनट्स 2 मिनट्स 2 मिनट्स इज आइडियल गुड इनफ 2 मिनट्स इज आइडियल टाइम टू डू इट ओके फॉर एडल्ट्स एज वेल एज फॉर किड्स फॉर किड्स फॉर बोथ ऑफ देम बोथ ऑफ देम परफेक्ट ओके सो व्हेन डू यू थिंक इज द आइडियल टाइम दैट वी शुड स्टार्ट टेकिंग आवर किड्स टू द डेंटिस्ट on the first birthday okay so immediately birthday party ke baad <laughs> next day they should be going to the dentist no it's not like that but yeah it's recommended uh, after one year of age you should uh, visit dentist okay. so that because they start getting teeth right ha 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 one visit is important just to check how they are coming how are the teeth is there any cavity anything prone to cavity 
So the dentist will recommend you write what are the further precautions you are supposed to take for your kid. Okay, superb. So after the first birthday, after one year, they should definitely visit a dentist. Okay. And how about flossing and you know like cleaning the tongue for the kids? So flossing, it's technique sensitive, especially okay. for kids. So uh, I recommend usually you should start with when the child is uh, having two teeth that they touch, uh, that they touch each other. Okay. And then you have two mm -hmm. teeth and they touch each other. Mm -hmm. So that is a time where there's a contact between two teeth and the brush is not going to reach in that particular area. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. That time you should start start flossing, but again it should be done by you by the parent of course mm -hmm. and uh, it should be very like done carefully because it should not harm the gums yeah so you should try to do it very carefully for your kids mm -hmm. but yes it should be done uh, whenever your kid is uh, around two or three years of age i guess the both the teeth are touching like other teeth are touching each other mm -hmm. so that time you can start flossing for your kids okay so as soon as the kids are you know like having two teeth and they're touching each other yeah. they should definitely that start flossing around two or three years of age okay so that that's the perfect start. time okay yes. and uh, how about tongue cleaning for the kids yes, tongue cleaning should be done i emphasize on this so much because uh, more of maybe in india the awareness is very very less okay yes so what i have seen people first of all dental awareness is not there huh. and tongue cleaning ki to hai hi nahi to agar hum bachcho ko starting se hi tongue cleaning ki habit lagate hain huh. tab ja ke unhe uske aage bhi rehti hai ha aur wo aadat se wo aage bhi karte rahenge hmm, hmm, hmm. because without tongue cleaning aapki oral hygiene maintenance is 50% Okay. So brushing is fifty percent, tongue cleaning is fifty percent. Okay. Only today, as flossing is on top, of course. Hmm. But uh, tongue cleaning, आपको starting से ही initiate करना है बच्चों में hmm. maybe at the age of three years से start कर दो two or three years hmm. के hmm. बीच में आपको tongue cleaning की habit लगानी है, which is very important because okay. जो cavities form होती है बच्चों में वो इसके वजह से भी बहुत जरूरी है ओके okay. तो बच्चे की जो फॉर्मेटिव ईयर्स है उसमें ही अगर आप उनको टंग क्लीनिंग फ्लॉसिंग और ब्रशिंग की आदत लगाते हैं तो इट्स वेरी हेल्पफुल बड़े होने तक बच्चों को वही आदत रहती है एंड इट्स एन अमेजिंग टाइम टू डेवलप हैबिट्स इन द चिल्ड्रन राइट ये मेजर थिंग वाई पीपल फेस की हाँ मेरे बच्चों पे तो बहुत हो गया कैविटी क्योंकि वो चॉकलेट बहुत खाता है तो सिर्फ ये रीजन नहीं है कि वो चॉकलेट बहुत खाता है बिकॉज ये जो खाना है आपका बेसिक खाना भी है वो आपके दातों के बीच में और स्पेशली बच्चों में तो मतलब जैसा आप उनको ढालो उस तरीके से ढाल जाते हैं इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कि बचपन से ही अगर हम इस टाइप की प्रैक्टिस स्टार्ट करते तो इट्स इट इज फॉर लाइफ टाइम राइट सो इज इट नॉर्मल फॉर एडल्ट टीथ टू अपियर बिफोर बेबी टीथ आर लॉस्ट इट इज वेरी नॉर्मल okay few loses teeth early and some takes time for it mm -hmm. so there is no harm in that it happens it's okay but you should visit your dentist if you find it ki ha bahut samay ho gaya hai aur aise wo daant gire hi nahi hai tooth ke to definitely aap dentist ko visit kar sakte ho they will give you a proper solution for it okay they will guide you according okay aur usme kuch alignment mein problem aata hai kya yes isliye wo case specific hota hai अच्छा सबको okay. ये प्रॉब्लम आएगी जरूरी जरूरी नहीं है और सबको सेम प्रॉब्लम आएगी ये भी ये भी जरूरी नहीं है इसीलिए अगर आपको ऐसा लगता है तो आप डेंटिस्ट को अपने विजिट करिए दे विल गाइड यू बेटर कि क्या करना है कैसे करना है या कुछ भी नहीं करना है सो दे विल हेल्प यू विद दैट और इसके अलावा मुझे पूछना था कि जो बेबी टीथ्स में कैविटीज होती है उनको शुड बी फिक्स इट एंड हाउ सेफ इट इज इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अगर आपको ऐसा लग रहा है कि आपके बच्चे में कैविटीज हो रही है मुंह में अगर आपको कुछ भी ऐसे साइंस दिखते हैं तो आपको वो ट्रीट करना बहुत जरूरी है ओके okay. ठीक है तो आप अगर ऐसे ही रख दोगे उसे मतलब hmm. टेंडेंसी होती है ना ये तो दूध के दांत हैं इनको तो गिरना hmm. ही है नए दांत अच्छे आने वाले हैं okay. बट ऐसा नहीं है अगर आप अपने बच्चों के ये दूध के दांत ही ट्रीट नहीं करते हो hmm. तो वो एक तो दूसरे दांतों में कैविटी स्प्रेड होती है सेकेंडली अच्छा. वो ज्यादा डीप हो जाएगी 
पेन स्टार्ट हो जाएगा प्रॉब्लम बढ़ जाएगी इन्फेक्शन बढ़ेगा बैक्टीरियल ग्रोथ बढ़ेंगे और दूध के दाँत ऐसा नहीं है ना कि एक हाथ साल में गिर जाते हैं तो आपके मुंह में बहुत समय तक रहने वाले हैं और जब हम यही चीज ट्रीट नहीं करते हैं तो हमारे जो परमानेंट तीत आने वाले हैं वो भी डैमेज होता है ओके ओके इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू ट्रीट मिल्क तीत If they are cavitated or any kind of problem, you have to fix this problem visiting your dentist, and that will help to build up more confidence because pain nahi hoga, that kali nahi dikhenge, so your your child will be in much better condition, or your immunity will be down nahi hogi, because bacteria grow nahi ho rahe hain. So that is very important. So, मतलब important है जैसे कि adults में हम cavities fix करते हैं, similarly kids में भी करनी चाहिए, क्योंकि आगे जाके भी दांत में problem आ सकती है if you are not treating the cavities. Yes, आपके permanent teeth में भी problem आएगी अगर हम milk teeth ही treat नहीं करते हैं तो. Okay, okay, okay. So, that means milk teeth should not be taken casually at all, right? Not at all. Not for granted. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Perfect. So, what can we do if the baby tooth gets knocked out prematurely? First thing, uh, you can keep it in uh, milk. Okay. okay a warm milk, not mm -hmm. hot, but a warm milk. Or in your, in the kid's saliva. Hmm. Okay. Or if you don't, you can't do that, you can use saline water. Okay. Okay. वर्स्ट केस कुछ नहीं अवेलेबल है यू कैन टेक नॉर्मल टैप वाटर उसमें पिंच ऑफ सॉल्ट डालना है और उसमें दांत डाल के यू हैव टू रन टू योर नियर बाय डेंटिस्ट ओके यस सो इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इफ यू वांट टू सेव द टूथ व्हिच इज नॉकड आउट कंप्लीटली ओनली इफ द टूथ हैज कम आउट कंप्लीटली ओके इट इज ब्रोकन इट इज इट इज ऑफ नो यूज बट इन केस ड्यू टू सम एक्सीडेंट और अ फॉल और एनीथिंग एज सच हैज हैपन एंड वो दांत पूरी तरह से निकल गया है सॉकेट से सो आप वो दांत को प्रिजर्व कर सकते हो टिल द टाइम यू रीच द डेंटिस्ट ओके एंड द डेंटिस्ट इफ ही फाइंड्स एवरीथिंग द एनवायरनमेंट इज सूटेबल एवरीथिंग इज फाइन ही कैन प्लेस द teeth back again in place okay so that's something amazing that yeah. which can be done so okay so if the tooth is like knocked out prematurely aap hmm. usko ya to milk ya to saliva so saline water tino cheez mein kuch bhi nahi milta hai pani pani mein pinch of salt dal ke usme daat dal ke aapke nearby dentist ko jald se jald agar aap pahunchoge to definitely you can see it save the teeth okay i think it's an amazing technique and you didn't knew about it <laughs> तो आपको क्या लगता है कि जो हम स्वीट्स खाते हैं और जो आइस खाते हैं स्पेशली किड्स को बड़ा शौक होता है बर्फ निकाल के खाने का फ्रिज से तो उसका क्या इफेक्ट होता है हमारी ओरल कैविटी पे हमारे टीथ्स पे क्या इफेक्ट होता है एवरीथिंग इन लिमिट इज गुड ओके आफ्टर यू ईट सच स्टाफ अगर आप स्वीट्स खाते हो या अगर आप पैक्ड फूड खाते हो जो स्टिकी है सो मेक श्योर दैट यू रन आफ्टर यू आर डन ईटिंग दैट विल हेल्प टू प्रिवेंट एनी बैक्टीरियल ग्रोथ बिकॉज इट नथिंग इज लाइक स्टक इन बिटवीन योर थी सो दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो यू शुड रन वेल पोस्ट यूर ईटिंग एनी सच काइंड ऑफ फूड स्टाफ सेकेंड ऑफ ऑल ईटिंग आइस हाँ ऑफकोर्स आई विल नॉट रिकमेंड दैट Hmm. Because chewing ice cubes is really harmful. Because first thing, it is very cold, so it causes a lot of sensitivity. Hmm. Second thing, when you chew such hard thing, hmm. so that is like high risk that you are going to fracture, fracture your teeth. Fracture your teeth, okay. So your teeth might break, or it might get fracture, which is not good. Not so good, okay. highly not recommended chewing ice, but. Regarding sweets and other, you can eat whatever you wish. To. Okay, okay. So rinsing after eating, normal right? food or sweet food is recommended. Anything. See, you are eating normal food also in your rinsing. It's a very good habit okay. for adults or for kids or both okay. of them. But particularly if you are eating anything sweet or sticky, you should rinse. In that okay, case. but ice is a no no. Complete no no. Complete okay. No. <laughs> So, are there any tricks or tips for helping kids to do a thorough job when they are brushing? Kids often don't like to brush their teeth or spend timing, you know, brushing their teeth. Hmm. But a quick brush is a better than no brush at all. Okay, it helps your child learn that brushing teeth is a part of their daily routine. They exactly. should. Learn mm. this, you know, mm -hmm. from their childhood. Children are more likely to go along with cleaning teeth if they have, if it is fun. Mm. Okay, so here I can show you some ideas, or you can you know, just guide you with some ideas what you can use to make your little ones at least start brushing their teeth. Okay, so it should be fun, basically. It should be fun, basically. Fun and interesting. Yes, it should be fun uh, because uh, they like funny things, exactly, and uh, that will definitely help them to learn better. 
Hmm. Uh, one tip is like you can sing while you are brushing along with them. Any of the rhymes that is their favorite, one of that I can recommend is like this is the way you brush your teeth, brush your teeth, brush your teeth. So this is how one of the rhyme you can choose from their rhyme list and you can play or uh, you can let them play with their favorite toy. Hmm. while they are brushing because that might help them you know to sit at one place one while place. they are brushing okay uh, a technique which you can follow is you can stand or sit behind your child you hmm. can cup their chin in your hand rest their head on your body and you can rotate the brush in the motion that will help to clean their teeth well so make them comfortable make yourself also comfortable while you are brushing because this will help you know for them to be more comfortable and uh, as well as at the same time the teeth will get more clean better, properly clean properly yeah so, so you have to make them comfortable you have to make them feel secured yes that is more important that's the reason if you're standing behind them mm -hmm. coming that chin with your hand mm -hmm. that might help them to feel more secure mm -hmm. and you can do your job better yeah that's very that's a very good idea it's a very wonderful idea so these were i think some of the most unique and wonderful tips and tricks that I have got from you and it was an amazing session full of knowledge and I'm sure our viewers will also get a lot of help on their oral hygiene with this session. So if you have any questions regarding your oral hygiene or your kids oral hygiene, please put it in the comment box and we'll reply via chatting with you and we'll reply on the Facebook comments. So please go ahead and type if you have any queries or concerns regarding your oral health. So thank you very much Shrutika, it was an amazing session. So I enjoyed it completely and learned some new techniques, how to brush my child's teeth properly. So of course, anytime. Thank you so much for having me here. It was a great experience with Mission Shakti. Uh, please keep your oral hygiene good. That will help you with your overall health as well. So keep brushing, keep flossing, keep using tongue cleaner. Thank you so much. <laughs>